everybody. Thanks for watching our channel, The Arts of Horror of Wargaming. Please like, share, and subscribe to our channel if you like what you see today. Today I'm here playing with my friend Cole, who army that he's playing is the... The New Skaven Tide. And I am playing the um, spiders, because I'm the spider lady. Um, today our game that we're playing is Battle for Pass, and um, we're going to see how things go. So I've got a mostly verminous army with a vermin lord warbringer as my general, and he has brutal fury as his <coughs> command trait and things bane as his artifact. Um, and then I've got a stack of 40 clan rats, 20 storm vermin, and this is a claw lord here and. The battle trait for Verminous Heroes allows Claw Lords to all take a command trait, and so his is going to be Verminous Valor. And then I have a Brood Horror over on the side. Very cool. And then I also have these Gnaw Holes, which are the Skaven Tide's new terrain, um, and those allow me to teleport um, a unit between them. Okay guys, so today I have my Scuttle Boss, um, then I have my Mangler Squigs, um, I have my Big Bad Spider who has a wizard on it, um, he will also be my general. Um, today I have three units of fives of the Spider Riders, and then of course my um, Moon Shrine. And I'm hoping that if my spell goes off, I have a Scuttle Tide to play as well. Mm -hmm. I place the token for the big um, bad moon, which will move after the second turn to wherever. Um, and hopefully, I play, played it on the corner here, so hopefully it will um, be effective for my army today. So we rolled um, to see who would go first, and I won the roll with a four, and Cole got a three. And I am choosing to go first. I want to see if this goes off. I'm gonna roll. Oops, roll what are you rolling? Ass. What are you rolling for? Um, a scuttle tie for the spell. Okay. Um, so I needed a seven. I got an eight. Can you dispel any of them? Um, not at that range. Okay. <clears throat> so then it says here that the scuttle tie is a predator endless spell. A scuttle tie can move up to six inches. Says the summon scuttle tie has a casting value of seven. Only the gloom spite glitz wizard can cast can attempt to cast the spell. Add one to the caster roll for this spell. If the caster is a spider vein wizard, which my spider, my big bad spider is, if casting if successfully cast, set up a scuttle tie model, wholly within six inches of a terrain feature. So my terrain is the um, the moon, uh, moon shrine. So I can set up wholly within. It can be any terrain feature, though. Yeah, I think it could be mine, too. This would probably make it do most of the damage. So, wholly within. So, when it says wholly within, it's within that six inches. Is that correct? Okay. You could literally just set it right up on top of it if you wanted to. Yeah, but then if I do that, you can't teleport through, right? Correct. Or I still could teleport through. I wouldn't be able to teleport guys here. But I could, it, it's all just rel related to where they pop up. They can't be within nine inches of one of your guys. So basically you could go through it, but he can't right. um, come, you can go through it to go somewhere else. You can't go through it to come back there. Basically. Yeah, you can't come out within up, nine inches of them. Or moving <laughs> this model, you can pick one unit within one inch. So it can be any one of these. Is that one whole unit right there? Yeah. Okay. Of this model and roll six dice for each roll of five plus that unit suffers um, one mortal wound. In addition, roll six dice for each unit 
that finishes a normal move or a charge within six inches of this model. Roll for <coughs> each roll of a five plus that model. So if you move one or two or two, I'm going to roll six dice. Five plus. And I got one five and one six. I got one five and one six out of that, so it would suffer two motor wounds. How many wounds does this guy have? He has twelve. How many do these guys have? Uh, one each, so forty. Okay, um, so this I guy has this a guy. five up. I'm gonna do him. Okay, and he has a rule protection of the horned rat. Um, roll a dice each time you allocate a wound or mortal wound on a five up. The mortal wound. Or wound is negated. So, and I rolled a four, so I take it. Well, you have to roll two because she got two mortal wounds on you. Oh, yeah. yeah. And a six. So a six. Take, so one I take one. Yep. Yeah. So then, um, any of my spider veins that are next to this is not affected <clears throat> for any of it, and they can move across this model in the same manner as it can fly. I can cast two spells, and I can unbind. So my wizard guy, which is this one, um, can cast two spells in its hero phase and attempt to unbind one spell in the enemy's hero phase. So for my spells, one is too far away, the venom of spiderlings. Um, I have to be 12 inches um, from the caster. And the other one, um, the venom uh, uh, healing one is, he has no wounds yet, so he doesn't need to have that. For my Mangler Squid, before I can move him, I have to, because I have no wounds, I can um, roll 3d6, and that determines how far he can move. Three dice, and I got 9, 10, 11, and he can fly, so he can move over things. Okay, so that is my movement phase. Now my shooting for missile, the big giant spider, he has spider balls within 16 inches. I think I'm too far away. Too far away. My spider um, buddies, writers here, they also have a missile weapon of 16 inches. And I believe I'm just outside. of those. So he can't shoot any missiles. Charge phase, we're too <coughs> far away. Combat phase, we're not in. And I can't do battle shock. So it is your turn. All right. In my hero phase, I get two spell casts with my general. And I can uncast. And in your hero phase. I will use dreaded death frenzy. So uh, casting value of 7, if successfully cast, pick up to D3 friendly Skaventide units wholly within 13 of the caster and visible. Until the next hero phase, when a model from any of those units is slain, before it is removed, it can make a pile in and attack with all of its melee weapons. So, I believe wholly within 13 will only be these guys. Everybody have to and have, I have to make it go off. A D3. So first I'll roll to see if it goes off. And it does not. So I will just try with my second spell cast. I'll try the same spell again. You can't cast the same spell twice. Oh, you can't? Yeah, you can't. Oh, okay. Do a different spell. All right. And so I will try Mystic Shield. And I rolled an eight, and the casting value is a six. So I will I'm select. I'm gonna see if I can unbind it. Okay. Okay, so I need, um, is it, can it be an eight or more, or did that have to be one You have to be it, so it's gotta be nine. And I did not, so it goes off. Oh, what did you get? I get a five. Okay. And I will put the Mystic Shield with 18 inches. So I will put that on my unit of storm vermin. Do you want to use or for the yeah for I'm the full. Metal and token. It says mystic shield. Oh. And that is my hero phase. Move. Okay, so predatory endless spells. Uh, so Heidi does have one of those on the table, so that's why I'm reading this. Many endless spells are removable and once cast remain in the same location. However, some can move across the battlefield in search of living prey. These are noted as being predatory endless spells. 
The following rules apply to predatorily endless spells. Predatorily endless spells are moved at the start of each battle round after the players determine who will have the first turn, but before the first turn begins. The players alternate picking a predatory endless spell to move, starting with the player who has the second turn. A player must pick a predatory endless spell to move if they are if any are available, but only predatory endless spells that have not yet been moved can be chosen. Once all predatory endless spells have been moved, start the first turn of the battle round. The distance a predatory endless spell can move will be noted on its war scroll. Some predatory endless spells can fly, this too will be noted on the war scroll. Unlike other models, a predatory endless spell can cross the edge of the battlefield when it is moved. However, if it does so, the spell is immediately dispelled. Uh, the effects and abilities of predatory endless spells are resolved by the player who moved that model for the battle round. So the spell that she does have, um, it, it can fly, it moves up to six inches, and it is called what? It is called the Scuttle Tide. The Scuttle Tide. So that is the predatory endless spell that we have on the table right now. On this side, I just moved, I didn't run anybody. I moved the Storm Vermin and my Claw Lord up six inches. I moved my Clan Rats up six inches. Made and sure he was away yeah, from my... made sure that I was six inches away from this. I moved him up his eight inch move and also made sure he was outside of six of that. And this guy had a 12 inch move and I moved him up in front and will hopefully be able to charge. And for the shooting, I, he has a six inch shooting um, with his tail, uh, but I'm out of range for that, so I can't shoot. So I will go ahead and start the charge, my charge phase. Do you think get you far away? Because if you're less than, if you're more than 12, there's no Yeah, shoot. I think he's the only one That's like within 12. 12. So I'll go ahead and charge with him first, my vermin lord. And I got a seven. Let's see right now. Let's see I think you have to be what, three inches? Well, I have to be within a half inch. Or half an inch to it. Um, well, nope, that's not close enough. <clears throat> and I'll charge with Storm Room in. And that's a seven. That's not going to be even close. So no charges and then no battle shock either. And I still have my scuttle tie because to see if he's within six inches on his for the enemy when he moves his unit. Um, it says in addition roll six dice for each unit that mo that finishes a normal move or a charge move within six inches of this model for each roll of five plus that unit suffers a mortal wound. So I get to roll six dice. She got ya. <laughs> Caught you snoozing. Frost. <laughs> okay, he tried, like but he didn't, he didn't accomplish. <laughs> okay, I got two sixes, and that is it out of the six days, so it suffers two mortal wounds. Alright. You guys are dead. <laughs> one by one, those little suckers will disappear. Okay, now, um, so Let then, sure because he did lose the model, of our second. you actually then do have, have to take battle shock. Battle shock, right? Yeah. He has um, forty of them, though. He still has to take battle shock. So your battle so, shock is how many bravery? So the one of the special abilities of the Skaven Tide is they um, get two bravery added for every ten models, um, rather than one. And so their adjusted bravery would be their base is four, <laughs> so plus another four because I have um, less than forty but above thirty. Yeah. Less than 40, about 30, because you lost two. Oh no, it would ask, add six then. So they'd be 10 bravery. So 10 minus two, you couldn't fail. So, no, you're fine. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so before we roll to see who goes next, um, my big bad moonshine has to move. Because it's at the start of the second battle round. And so one, it doesn't move a two to five, uh, it moves one, and a six, it moves two. So I roll one dice, and it rolled a six, so it rolls two. So I believe, where's my 
It puts you in the center, so now it affects the whole table. Oh yeah, how many points did you get? Oh, um, let's see, just the one. So I just got one uh, victory point here for controlling that objective. At the end of the first round on my turn, I have five points. I had a four, you got a two, so I mean, I get a turn, which is probably not a good thing. Okay, I'm on the roll. Um, I got a four and Cole got a two um, because it's my turn and the um, big mat bad moon is in the middle. It affects the whole board. Um, there's many things that it will do. Okay, and I already rolled um, this um, over here because uh, it was the uh, fangs of the big bad moon and of the army of the Glitzfitz army at the start of your hero phase you can pick one enemy unit and roll a dice if the roll is equal to or less than the number of models that's affected by the big bad moon thing it um, suffers a d3 motor wound so I picked his bigger unit and did that um, and it went off of course even with a six I had rolled and um, we did mortal wounds, and I only got a two out of a D3, so it only did one mortal wound. So that is the big bad moon. Now we're gonna finish with the rest of my hero phase. Go here, and I'm gonna go here with it because I turned. So yeah, so either way, unless you're moving that way. <laughs> um, okay, so then he's moved. So um, what this, what we're doing right now is predatory endless spells are moved at the start of each battle round after the players determine who will have the first turn, okay. but before the first turn begins. Okay, so hit moved. Arcane Bolt, <clears throat> so it needs to cast a casting value of five. And I got an eight. So it went off. The arcane bolt and went off. So I'll try says, and unbind it. Um, pick an enemy unit within 18 inches of the caster. So it could be this one. It could be this unit. It could be him. So I could do this one, this one, or this one. Okay. So then, which is visible to them. The unit you pick suffers a D3 minor wound. Alright, so my unbind roll did not succeed. I got a three. Okay, so then I can cast it to anybody I want who... What does he have? How many? He has eight wounds. Okay, so I'm going to try him. Because these guys are one-pointers. Okay, so a d3. So he has six, so it takes three more to and Excuse me, he actually has six wounds, not eight. So then I cost three, so then he has three left. He doesn't have any saves against mortals? Not this guy, no. No, okay. not the fruit horror. So now I'm going to cast my second one, and I'm going to cast um, the Mystic Shield. And it goes off on a six. Whoops, I'll label that again. It's going to go in the box. And I got a seven. So that. Plus one, because you're under the light of the bad moon. So, so it would be an eight. Um, can you dispel it? Yeah, I'll try and unbind it. You have to have a 10. Roll. Does not Six. succeed, because okay. I got a nine. So, which is visible, you can add one to all sables. I'm going to just use this little token here, since you're using my token, um, for the mystic shield. And the command point. And my command point is, it's the mindful, or the masterful spider ride. It says, no rivalry can match the scuttle boss's command uh, for the steed. It says, add four inches to this general's movement phase. So he's my general, so I can, he normally moves eight, so I'm going to buff him up to four inches, so he'll get to move at eight. 9, 10, 12. So when do you figure out what happens with the scuttle tide then? I haven't even, oh, um, when I move him. It says after setting up or moving this model, you can pick one unit within one inch of it and roll dice. 
So one inch, uh, five or six days. So five plus. Doing this over here. I got two sixes out of four days, out of six days. So two minor wounds to that unit. And just to give you a heads up, you might want to pick the ones that's closer to this to remove. Because even oh, yeah. when these guys move, if they're still within six inches right. after you move. So I don't know if you want to put those back and move uh, these guys, or if you're fine with where you're at. I, I'll stick with where I'm at. You okay. won't be able to stay by them anyway. <laughs> okay, okay. And you can attempt to dispel that in your hero phase. Right. I'm going to move. I'm going to go this way because if I'm close to that, then I'm get four points. My mangler squig, um, because uh, it has no wounds on it yet, um, I get to move 3d6. So I gotta see what it is, I gotta roll for it. And I got 12, 13, 14, 15. So I can move 15 inches with that. So I'm using my spider bows for um, my big bad spider for his missile weapon. So this one has 12, this one has three lives left, this one has 12, right? So I'm gonna try, just for fun, I'll try and get some of the wounds off of that one. Because I'm also gonna attack with these for that one. Because this one has the most, uh, most uh, wounds is 12, right? Yeah, so he's got 11 left. What is that army? These guys are storm vermin, they have one wound each. And one wound each, one wound each and then this one only has three left. He has three left. Okay, yep. so he's my big target right now. So he's the one I'm going to go after. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I get eight attacks for it. I need five to hit, and five to two. So eight attacks, I need fives. Two, three out of eight, one, five, and two sixes. So then I need five wound, and I got one wound at a one damage. Alright, so my normal roll, uh, my normal save is a four up. And I rolled a three, and then he gets a five up save from the protection of the horned rat. Three, so he takes it. Okay, so then my next missile is these spiders, and they get two attacks apiece um, at a range of 16, so I'm going to do him again. Um, so all of them, um, all 15, are actually in mm. the 16 range, so I would get 30 hit. So, if you're okay with it, I'm gonna do um, six, five times. Six dice, five yeah. times. Okay, and then we'll just keep track of it. Six, okay. So we'll keep track of my rolls with this dice. So this is the first one. And again, they need fives to hit, fives to work. So I got one. Two hits. Okay, so then we're just gonna keep going with my hits. Are you I'll okay just, with that? I'll keep track of them, yeah. Okay, so this is the second one. So I'll get two. And another four and a five. So I get two more. Two more. This will be my third one. I got three out of that one. Seven total. This is my fourth one. I got one, two out of that one. Mm -hmm. And then my last roll. I put a total of 30. Oops. Oh, that's in there. Come on. Me in the box. Okay, so I am, and I did have a six when it pulled off to be in a. Uh, four when it got hit by the other dice. So, so do you want to count that more? one? So three, more. three more. Okay, so okay. how many total? So 12 total hits. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 
Okay, so I need five to load. I got one, two, three, four, four wounds. All right. At uh, one damage. No, wait. Let me make sure I'm not going to do one. Yep, one damage, no red. Four up save. I got one saved save. one of them, and then my five up protection. Got one. One of them, so I take two more. That helps a little so bit. He has so eight, eight wounds eight remaining. Wound, eight wounds left. Okay. That's good. Okay. So that was my missiles. Let me make sure I got them all. Spiders, spiders. Okay. So now we are moving on to my charge with my um, giant big bag spider. Nine. And then you can charge anything within nine inches. So we'll finish all the charges and we'll be right back. Read it. Okay, so the black thing is the one I actually picked for the artifact. And it says, pick one of the barriers melee weapon. If the unmodified hit roll for the attack is made with a six, that affects that effect that attack inflicts D3 mortal wounds on the target and the attack sequence ends. If the weapon also inflicts a mortal wound, depending on what I use, um, we'll also um, add three D D3 to the number of mortal wounds. But I think that I have that thing where it's a five instead of a six mm. <coughs> for him. Right. So if it's a five, it would affect mortal wounds instead of a six. Okay. The one that I'm going to use for the uh, black thing, because it says I can pick one of the melee weapons, I'm going to use the legs. Okay. So the spider god staff gets one attack within one inch. Um, it gets a four to hit and a three to wound. And it did not go off. Okay, so the um, legs, depending on how many wounds it has, it does not have any wounds, so it gets eight attacks. And I need fours to hit, fours to wound. Wait, is that eight? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have one more in there, so. Hang on, I'm gonna re-roll that because I have one more dice in there than what I'm supposed to. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Force to attack. There's two more. So. Okay, and so then I have a five and a six. So in the hit wound that causes a mortal. For my melee weapon, for the spider god staff, um, it did, I'm sorry, I'm at my creepy life thing. Um, for four, it hits, so I got a four, five, six. And then for a three, it wound, I got a four and a three. So two went off, so it's a minus one run. Um, one damage. So you need three. And my... Well, well, one rend. So my my clan rights have no save at one rend. Okay, so, so then you would take. <laughs> so they just take three. Yep, yeah, because that's one damage. So take three of them off. So um, for the fangs, I need four attacks. Then the hip, because it has no wounds, it only needs a two to hit. But if I get a six, it's a mortal wound. No, um, it's something and I else. I believe it goes down to a five, actually. Something so, else, because you're under the light of the bad moon. Which is five. Yeah, so it makes it a five fives. instead of a six. Okay, so fours. Um, I got two sixes, and three and a four. So those two went through, and then mortal wounds is now a five. For my black thing, it says here that. The attacks inflicted a D3 mortal wound on the target, and the sub uh, on a six is a D3. If the weapon already inflicts a D3 mortal wound, which mine does, um, add 3D to that for the mortal wounds. Does that make sense? Okay, so for each six, so the number of, of mortal being, wounds are 2D3. Yep. Okay. So if I roll this, I roll this. I'm 
another one. I have a four and a three. So I need threes to and they both hit. Okay, so it's a minus one rend. That's my regular. Everyone, that's one, so minus one. So, so they get just, no save. Yeah, so, so now these do D3. You take two. So now, hang on. So now these do D3, which is what you had rolled because you, no, hang on, stop. So, which is what you had rolled because you thought that you needed to roll D3. So you rolled these two, which is a four and a three. Yeah. Right? So you got four wounds from that. Okay. Okay. So you take four so wounds. I take four. Okay. So now we're done with that. So now. Pick one of the barely, if unmodified roll made with that weapon is a six, it inflicts d3 mortal wounds on the target and the attack sequence ends. Do not make a wound or save roll. If the wound already inflicts mortal wounds on a roll of a six, add d3 to the number of mortal wounds it inflicts instead. So you got two mortal wounds, okay? And if you don't have any saves for that, if you want to go ahead and take those. Yeah, I'm just keeping track of all the wounds. Okay. Well, let's take them off as we go, because otherwise we're just going to make a mess of it. So, so four first. Four for the first one. Yep. And then two more if you don't have any other shaves against mortals. Right. Okay, and add D3 to the number of mortals it inflicts instead. Okay. So then you would roll two dice, because you got two, two mortal ones. Okay, seven. So, yeah, so two and a two, basically. So another four mortal ones. So there you go. That's how it works out. That is confusing. Yes. It is confusing. Okay. <laughs> so now yes. I still have one more thing to do. And um, it is the crooked spear. So then I need five to hit. And I got one, two, two hits. And then I need four to two more. And I got one wound, and uh, one damage, no rend. Oh, right. I have a six up save. You got a four. Four, so no save. One more move. Okay. Okay, so that's him. I'll attack with him. Yeah, so I'm, him? I'm gonna pile in, I piled in him. Um, to be there so that his three inch range attack can at least hit her okay. spider leader and then the rest of my attacks will have to go into this mangler squigs his three inch attack is the prehensile tails i get three attacks on three up to hit and i got two sixes so two hits and a four up to wound Five and a six, so two wounds, no rend, one damage. Okay, I need four to save. And if I get... And I saved one. My squid dice for my marker. So he normally has... What did I say? 14, so now he's down to 13. So the teeth are sixes. Okay. So like I said, I count down. So uh, I have 13 lines left. And then the remainder of my attacks will go at the Mangler Squig. And I've got six attacks with Fangs and Claws. Hitting on threes. So I got three hits. And wounding on three up. You get out three wounds, one rend, two damage. Okay, so I need fives. Saved one, and it's just two damages, so ten. So no, it has twelve lives, so now it has ten. No, got eight. Left. Got eight because took four. I got two. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. You took Wait. two went you... through at two damage each, so yeah. four four total damage. Okay, so eight. So you have eight left. Is that it? Are you done? Yep, that's all of his attacks. Okay. Well, I guess then I will attack back with my guy. He has three melee weapons. So he has the huge fang filled gob for attacks. Um, and because it has four wounds, it needs four plus. Okay, so then I got. 
so I got two, because I got a six and a five, and two threes. Then I need threes to wound. And I got both of them. And then it's a minus one bend for you to save it. And sorry, you got three? I had two. two. So my save is a four up, so I need a three up. <clears throat> I got a, wait, no, I would need a five up, sorry. Okay. I was backwards. <laughs> um, so neither of those got saved. Okay, so, so now it's a D6 damage. damage. Hang oh. on. Yeah, he's dead. <laughs> and I got a six. So he's bye dead. bye. Bye bye. <clears throat> um, these guys can. Did they attack, attack already? Nope. Okay. <laughs> So I can attack with them, and I'll pile them in three inches, correct? Correct. So, and they have a two inch range, so... Looks like this guy can't attack. Alright, so everybody but that guy can attack. He can uh, attack? Yeah. Two inches. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten? I don't think he got him. If he's within two. Oh, but it goes by the center of the model, right? No, nope, from the end. Oh, it is? Yes. Oh, well then. It goes I from guess. the base. It goes from his base. Oh, okay. Well then, yeah. <clears throat> um, so two, four, six, eight, ten. 20 guys. That's why people give you the squinty eyes about square bases, because you're basically gaining five millimeters per model. Mm. So that's why you get the, no, you gotta put them on rounds, because you're gaining five millimeters per model. Mm. In tournaments. So I think you have 12 days, so do you want a little 10 and 10? Yeah, one attack a piece, okay. um, hitting on a five ups. So. Okay, so you're rolling 10. Mm. this turn and my battle shock roll is a one so 11 plus one is 12 and their bravery is four plus two because they have 20 mo four plus four because they have 20 models so eight minus so that would be three dead okay so you lose three Squeak, squeak. So that he would get that point. Well, he doesn't get any points because it was on your turn. So, so you but just you don't, don't get that you one. just don't get them. But you get the other three objectives, so you get five points. I am finally determined I'm gonna get that one. So I'm up to <laughs> ten now. I'm walking my nice little one. Okay, and so now. It is your turn. So it is the start of my hero phase, and I was originally planning on, I was going to eventually try and get these guys through this knot hole over to there to capture that objective and maybe be able to get a few points. Um, but then I realized I can't teleport them without already being here. I can't move and then teleport. So instead, I think I will probably just try and actually do a little damage and maybe try and kill that thing, but then probably call it <laughs> after that, because I won't be able to get any uh, points. Um, 
Um, so, the first thing I'll do is I'll go ahead and um, try and dispel the scuttle tide with uh, my vermin lord, and I only rolled a four. Um, so then I will try and cast my frenzy spell again, dreaded fr death frenzy on these guys. So he gets two spells, correct? Yes. Okay. Because <clears throat> the unbinding is a spell. Right. <clears throat> and that roll was a seven, but it's down to six because of the bad moon. And so that does not go off. And so then I will just go ahead and cast Mystic Shield then. Well, you um, can't if you, unless you have oh, another yes, spell. Oh, yes, right. Yeah. I'm out of spells. And so that is, I will can use... Can Mystic Spells Shield on yeah. anything? I will use my only command point to use his command ability, which is Tyrants of Battle. Uh, you can use this command ability, oh, excuse me, in the combat phase, so I guess I will use it later. Um, so that's the end of my hero phase. And then in the movement phase, I'll go ahead and move my units, and then I can show where I moved them. Um, so I'll use uh, his command ability, which allows, so I pick one friendly model with the command ability, so that's him, and... In the combat phase, I can re-roll hit and wound rolls of one for any friendly verminous units while they're wholly within 13 inches. Um, so I will use that. And that's my only command point. So I moved my Storm Vermin and Claw Lord up. I retreated out of combat with my clan rats, and they with banners can run and ch or they can um excuse me, retreat and still charge later on. And then I moved my Vermin Lord forward as well. Um, so that is the end of my movement phase and then my shooting phase. Well, now she gets to do the scuttle tide against the oh. small units. So I need... shooting attacks. Um, his tail is with four wounds. His tail is three attacks. Uh, three up to hit and three up to wound. Two hits. One wound at one rend and one damage. What were you attacking? This unit. And that one has the mystic shield. So it's already a five. So I'd have to have a six. And if I get a one, I get to re-roll it. Is that correct? Yeah. Come on, Fox. <laughs> it's so bouncy. Okay, so three. Don't they have two damage each? No, he said one damage. I know. Don't your spiders have two damage each? Yes. Okay, Trying to kill guys that aren't even dead. <laughs> one. She doesn't like you for some okay. reason. Okay. Okay, anything <laughs> else? All right. That's all my shooting. Okay, next. And so, now charges. Now you have charge face. I will make a charge with the Storm Vermin. <clears throat> nine. Nine inches. So we'll move all of those, we'll be right back. A charge roll with my Vermin Lord. He got an 11. So I will move him there. That will never happen, but Might as well roll it. I'll try. I'll try to try to roll with forward. He does not make it. And what did he get? He got a 7. <clears throat> that doesn't get you to the other combat either, huh? No. Um, and so then I will 
charge with clan rats. Get a six. Uh, so I will charge them in six inches into the spider. That is the end of my charge phase. I attempted to charge with my claw, claw Lord, but it failed. I charged in with my Storm Vermin. I charged back in with my Clan Rats to maybe get some models near that. And I charged with my Vermin Lord. And so on to... So now can I do my Scuttle Tile yeah. after the charge? Yep, so now you do your Scuttle Tile. Okay. So because um, he charged and he's within six inches of my scuttle tile, I can roll six dice. Come on, baby, give me some sixes and fives. I got one, two, three, four, um, six, uh, four, I got three fives and one six, so that does mortal wounds. Yep, one mortal wound, fives and sixes. All right, so. so that's, was that five or four? Four. Uh, four. four. Two, four of them. Make a difference on how many you attack me with. <laughs> yeah, because those attacks will really ma matter. <laughs> and if I were you, I would attack this one first. <coughs> and if you don't, I will. Mm, then you won't get a chance to. all dead anyway, <laughs> it doesn't matter. <laughs> That's the spirit. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, so I will use my um, general's command trait, which is brutal fury once per battle at the start of the combat phase. Add three to the attack's characteristic of all melee weapons until the end of that phase. So I have... <clears throat> I have a single attack, a single weapon that is a one inch range, and so that... What is the command trait that you use? It is called Brutal Fury. Is that the one that you spent a point on? No, this is a command trait, okay. so just an ability. Okay. Um, the command ability was on these guys, which... Oh. And then you can use a trait and um, an ability. And so, so I get four attacks now on the spiked fist, hitting on threes. So I got three hits, wounding on threes. And I got only one wound, but it was a six, and the special ability for that is a Wound roll of a six does six damage instead of two. So, and that is a two rend attack. And I have a five, so I wouldn't be able to roll. So you said it does a six damage? Yeah, six damage. Okay, and these are two apiece, and which army were you attacking? These guys. Okay, so because there's ten. So that's six, so then so two, four, three. six, so three would go away. So I want to do. Can you? Yeah, I can. Can you remove that. three? <clears throat> there you go. Thank you. Oh. And because I'm close to him, I don't have to do battle shock. <clears throat> and then my Doom Glaive weapon now has nine attacks and it is three up to hit three up to wounds so, eight. so i'm then attacking with my doom glaive on these guys oh i guess i didn't roll in here we're at the bottom of the second right so i got one two so i got seven hits and three up to wound So six wounds at one rend and d3 damage. Okay, so, so do I can I... kind of save first. Yeah, you roll that first. So you said six? Yep. <clears throat> so I got 
so I need a six because normally I have a five. Oh, baby, give me sixes, give me sixes. Ooh, mama saved two. Okay, so go ahead, do your D3. So we got a roll of a five, one five and one six, and a four and a one. So one, three, and so it, six, nine damage. So that unit's dead. So. Bye bye, two spiders. And at this point, I've killed one unit, and I think I'll just concede. <laughs> what? Because I've at least killed one unit. I would uh, decided to concede because at least I finally managed to kill a single unit. Um, so, and she's got, I believe, ten objective points to my one at this point. Um, so I just conceded the game. I just wanted to get a few kills first. <laughs> at the bottom of the second. <laughs> Good game, good game. It was fun. Okay, you guys, so, um, Cole conceded after the second round, um, in the second round. So the spider lady, um, took her first win with the army, so I'm super excited about that. Um, I killed quite a few, um, <laughs> units, um, my spell did amazing. I loved it. Um, we'll keep it. My um, Mangler Squig, first time using it, um, did awesome. Um, killed lots of, of things. I would have to say my dice roll um, was really good, and to me, that uh, is what makes or breaks a win uh, on if you kill an army or not. Um, so my dice rolls were good. Um, Cole, how do you feel the game went for you? Uh, I probably should have run earlier on to get my guys actually into combat. I think uh, that, that probably killed me, not actually getting my guys anywhere to do anything. It's probably what did me in. <laughs> we just want to say that if you guys want to continue to see more games, please like, share, and subscribe, and hit the bell. Um, below and um, Chad actually made and painted the terrain that you see on the table um, are the mushrooms so if you have any uh, terrain jobs or model jobs that you would like done we also do um, 3D printing so if you would like any of those things please contact Chad through Arctic Core, Core, Core Gaming um, and he can connect with you and you guys can go from there. So, but we thank you guys for watching um, and again we had a lot of fun. Thanks yeah, for coming thanks out for and me. playing with us. <laughs> and so, um, please come again. And please check out the links below as well. Thank you. Have a good one.